Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And this morning I did a show, and I was talking about recording for a long period of time on my computer the audio out of a radio. And specifically, I was talking about a shortwave radio and uh, recording something for a long period of time, a frequency in one case that isn't real active. And I picked the High Frequency Global Communication System, which is used by the United States Air Force to communicate to aircraft that are typically over, over water, typically. And uh, they're, they're active on several bands. And does it list? Yeah, list up here the bands. Um, the one I picked was 11.175 megahertz, which is what I was showing this morning. And I set up Audacity uh, to record when the audio reached a certain level. So, so there's actually something going on. And uh, by doing that on Audacity, then it only records when that squelch, I'll call it, is broken. And so you, you, get, a, you get a nice compressed file that doesn't run forever with just dead space. And so I was able to do that. And I'll show you, the, I'll let you listen to that briefly. And let me go to Audacity. Here's the file right here. I don't remember how long it was, but it's pretty long. Let's go to the end. It's, it's about 10 minutes. I won't play the whole thing. So let's go back to the back, beginning, and I'll play a little bit of it. And again, this started about 8.30 this morning. I let it run all day. I'm using my Grundig satellite 500 and my MFJ 31 foot vertical antenna. That's the setup. So here we go. I'm going to play about a couple minutes of it. Okay, what was happening there is he was calling various aircraft, I believe. Could be stations, but I think it was aircraft. And then he was giving them a coded message, of which, of course, we don't know what that means, but they know what it means. So this active, this um, frequency and the other ones that they're on can get kind of active sometimes, and it's interesting to listen to, but there's a lot of dead time. That's why... I wanted to be able to set this up. Now, unfortunately, Audacity, or at least I couldn't find it, doesn't have any way of time marking when the squelch is broken and it records a segment. Now, it, it records this as a one continuous file, and it's just, it stops recording and then it picks right back up. So you have no idea um, when it was recorded, what time of day. So this is, uh, I can say, about a 10-minute file over eight hours. So it's a pretty small fire file for that eight hours. And there's many other frequencies you can listen to on shortwave that has stuff like this, military stuff, um, code, other coded messages, emergency bands. There's, there's emergency bands for... Um, Sea, sea uh, aircraft, I mean sea aircraft, <laughs> for ships at sea um, that sometimes there's something on there, most of the time there's not. So that's the beauty of this kind of setup is to sit there and monitor and monitor and monitor and not waste your 
hard drive space recording dead space. It compresses and only records when there's activity above the level you have set. You can adjust it. And then you can co go back and there's, like I say, this is eight out, over eight hours and it's all compressed into 10 minutes. So I just want to show you that. Um, still looking for a program that will not only record, but it will timestamp when a new transmission is recorded. So you know what time of day something happened. So you could, like for instance, uh, you could monitor like uh, WWV or some other international broadcast stations and get some idea of when it comes in, what time of day it comes in where you're located. Now there's many other things that affect that. So it's just one indicator. So anyway, um, if you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. If you got any other suggestions about this kind of activity, let me know. Bye-bye.